and welcome to the Carolina Panthers on the Prowl Post Game Show. I'm joined with Dustin Pfeiffer. I'm the coach Dick Cox. Well, Dustin, fans have been waiting for a long off season to get the Panthers out here, and really could not tell a whole lot about this team. Again, exhibition game, a lot of players play, starters didn't play a whole lot. What do you take from tonight? Yeah, a lot of excitement going into the first preseason game. We're even excited, you know, camp almost over, time to get the real plan on the field. Like you said, tough to, to judge tonight. Um, we talked to Coach Rivera after the game. As a whole, uh, he wasn't happy with the effort, and then you can tell when we talked to Cam Newton that he wasn't happy with the effort. So um, there were some bright spots, but definitely a lot of improvement that he's doing a lot to work on. And um, like they said, the main thing is their effort's got to get better because all this excitement and everything and, and the expectations coming into this year, um, they've got to go out there and show it on the field. And like I said, bright spots tonight, but definitely need to improve on the effort in a lot of areas to work on. I can see where they're coming from. I have been to camp every day, and this team has looked sharp in their execution, but there is a big difference because there really has not been a lot of live contact, a lot of getting in position. They're laying off of people's legs, no chop blocking. It's a different game out here, and plus people got to realize this is a Houston team, playoff team from last year that's pretty doggone good. Yeah, and they actually had either the top or top three defense in the league last year. So the Panthers were going against a really good defense early on with the first unit. Um, and like Coach Rivera said, some bright spots. Cam did have a nice uh, couple runs. Um, they got a screen to Johnson Stewart. They moved the ball, got a field goal on their last drive. Um, but definitely they looked like the areas they needed to work on were definitely the line of scrimmage on offense and defense got pushed back a little bit. And uh, those are things that, you know, once you said this is the first time we're live contact with other teams. So those are things that will improve. And uh, they'll go to go back to camp, go back to Spartanburg here the next day or so, and, and they'll work on that and they'll get better. Play of the game was my X Factor. And I had a chance to talk with him. Joe Adams showed a little taste of what he could do in a return game. Very exciting tonight. Took a play that was basically going nowhere. Made it the most exciting play of the night. Cam Newton got happy and excited. The players on the sideline, though. But he showed the kind of player he can be, you know, just in a small flash tonight. I look for this guy to be an impact player. Coach Rivera said this is the kind of guy that can get you good field position on returns and help set your offense up, hopefully to score a lot of points. Well, it's funny that you say that because the two impact guys tonight were the rookies. Luke Keekley on the defensive side, and then Joe Adams, like you said, had a great 39-yard punt return for the Spark. Luke Keekley comes in like one or two series, makes four tackles, forces a fumble, uh, stops the third and goal right there to hold him to a field goal. The, the guy was all over the place, and you can tell that he's going to have a chance at Defensive Rookie of the Year and maybe even a Pro Bowl. That's how good he's going to play starting in the middle. He's going to be a starter, and uh, he's going to make a big impact on this team, especially on the defensive side, and that's what they need. Cam goes a quarter tonight, almost a quarter there, uh, three series. Played pretty well, uh, not as well as he would like to play, but I thought Anderson came in and gave him a lift. Really played well in the backup quarterback position and showed should something happen to Cam, they still can execute and have got a veteran back there that can still lead a team. Yeah, I told you, I told you when, when Derek was out there playing, um, he threw for almost 100 yards, let him down on a touchdown drive, um, that we probably have one of the better backup quarterbacks in the league. Um, so... If, if something happens to Cam, we hope it doesn't because, like we said, Cam is the guy for this team. He's our superstar. Um, he's going to what, what makes this team go. But I feel comfortable if something happens and Derek Anderson needs to come in that the offense can still move right along. And that's something you need in this league because one play can change everything, and you got to have guys backing you up at every position who can come in and make plays. And that's one thing that Rivera talked about, not just the backup quarterback, but the second unit and the third unit. The younger guys who get the chance in preseason to come out and make plays, they have to go out and make the plays that, that they're expected to make. And and um, Rivera said he didn't see that tonight from the, from the younger guys, and, and that's something they need to improve on. Uh, again, looking back right now, mistakes were made. These are things that go back to Spartanburg on Monday. Got three days left of camp. Then they break camp and will be coming back and play next Friday night. They'll have the Miami Dolphins will swim up to the north this time to come to Bank of America Stadium. Uh, coming off a tough loss himself, though, so it should be interesting to see how both teams respond in their second exhibition game. Right, and like you said, it was hard to gauge what the team got done tonight, got accomplished, only played a couple of series with the starters. Next week they'll play a little more. They may play a, a quarter or maybe a little longer than a quarter. Um, so you can get a feel, a little bit better feel of where they're at and what they're going to do on the field. So I look for Cam to play a quarter, maybe a little more, depending on how the offense does. And I look for them to be a little sharp, uh, a, a lot sharper next week because like Rivera said, he, one thing he will make sure of is that this team will not put this effort on the field again. They will improve and they will get better. And you know when Rivera says something, he doesn't speak up often. But when he speaks up, this team listens and they believe in their coach. And I think they will get this improved. My area of concern going into the season was the kicking game. Mm -hmm. And it came back and bit them in a big way by giving up a, a kickoff return on a kickoff that really did not carry very far. It was fielded on the 15 run back, though. This is an area the 
the kicking game, not the kick return game, but the kicking game, still I think that they really need to work on. Yeah, and, and Coach Rivera said that neither one of the, the kickers got a leg up on each other tonight. And no I think, pun intended. No pun intended. And I think the big thing is, you know, I think it, it kind of goes both ways. I actually think that Medlock's a better field goal kicker right now, but I think that Mari might be a better kickoff as far as doing the kickoffs and getting touchbacks. So they're kind of 50-50, and like, and like Coach Rivera said, it's still wide open up in the air. There's still three more preseason games, so we still got a long way to go. Who's going to be this kicker? And I told you earlier, you know, Medlock, he hasn't played a lot of live action on the field in any NFL, so he handled the pressure well, hit a 48-yarder tonight. Mari also made one, so right now I don't think either one of them you know, took the lead in this race, and I think there's still a long way to go with that. Well, again, this is the first measuring stick tonight for Bank of America Stadium. The Panthers come up on the short end of a 26-13 to 13 game. He's Dustin Pfeiffer. I'm Dick Cox. Tune in Wednesday night for the Carolina Panthers on the prowl. We'll talk some more. We'll have some post-game interviews, but we'll see you then. Good night.